Hello, it's Pixel Weekly, back with another video. This time, I'm comparing an Asus Notebook U52F series with a Dell Inspiron 153000 series. This video will prove if an older laptop can still be worth the buy compared to a new budget laptop. The Asus in its prime was a pretty high-end machine. It's fitted with a first-generation Intel Core i5 M460 dual-core processor that is clocked at 2.53 GHz, a 600GB hard drive, and 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM. This may not sound like much by today's standards, but for the late 2000s to early 2010s when this laptop was sold, those specs were pretty good. And the price showed that. Even now on Amazon, these laptops go for around $300 to $400, and that's a used one. To compare it to, we have a brand new Dell Inspiron 153558. It's fitted with a 5th generation Intel Core i3-5015U dual-core processor that clocks at 2.1GHz, a 1TB hard drive, and 4GB of DDR3 RAM. It's a pretty average PC nowadays, but it compares very well to a high-end PC of the late 2000s. The only big difference is the price. You can find one of these brand new at Best Buy for around $280 to $300. Just a note, these both just have normal Intel integrated graphics inside, nothing special. Both of these PCs are running full Windows 10. The owner of the ASUS asked to not game on the laptop, so no gaming test will be performed in this video, but with a 2.53GHz processor, I'm sure it could do some light gaming pretty well. As for my Dell, I'm not a big gamer so I haven't played much more demanding games than Robocraft, but just with the experience I've had with it, I'm sure it could play games like CSGO on lower settings. Let's go to the hardware. The ASUS, as you can see, is a pretty large machine. The Dell literally fits inside the body of the laptop. That goes to show you how much thinner laptops have gotten. In fact, the ASUS is 1.3 inches thick, while the Dell is only about 1 inch thick. The ASUS has a 15.6 inch 1366x768 resolution display. After about 6 years of heavy usage, there are a few quirks with the display. As you can see, the bottom part of the LCD is kind of weird, but that's only really noticeable at select lights at very specific angles. The Dell is really the exact same display wise. It has the same 15.6 inch 1366x768 display, but it doesn't have the light issues the ASUS does. Both PCs have pretty bright, colorful displays that you can't really complain about considering one is around 60 years old and the other is a budget PC. Staying on the subject of hardware, the ASUS, expectedly, weighs just a bit more than the Dell at 5.34 pounds compared to the Dell's 5.3 pounds. It may not seem too noticeable on paper, but you can definitely feel a difference when picking them up. Both of the laptops have a pretty wide range of ports. The ASUS has three USB 2.0 ports, an HDMI port, an SD card reader, a microphone and headphone jack, a VGA port, an Ethernet port, and an optical drive. The Dell is surprisingly similar with two USB 2.0 ports and one USB 3.0 port. In a previous video I said that there are no USB 3.0 port, but I was incorrect. A headphone jack, an HDMI port, an Ethernet port, an SD card reader, and an optical drive. Let's move over to the keyboard and trackpad. As always, let's start off with the ASUS. It has an extremely comfortable keyboard with a great amount of travel, and it isn't very mushy at all. The trackpad is okay, despite being a little small, and the right and left click buttons are accurate and nice and clicky. The Dell has an okay keyboard with decent travel, and it's not very mushy at all. The trackpad is nice and big and responsive, but the right and left click buttons aren't the most accurate. Sometimes it registers a right click as a left click, and while it doesn't happen very often, it happens enough to make a mouse a good investment. The speakers aren't bad for the age of the ASUS and the price of the Dell, but obviously the Dell has slightly louder and clearer speakers in my opinion, but I'll let you be the judge of that. Now let's go to the software. There isn't much to say here because they're both running the latest versions of Windows 10, but I will say that their performance is very comparable. Chrome is extremely smooth and snappy, and YouTube isn't a problem for these laptops. Things like Microsoft Office and Google Classroom are perfect for devices like this. 
I will say that the Dell is a little bit faster when it comes to navigating Windows 10 itself, but it doesn't mean that the Asus is necessarily slow. Other than that, they are remarkably similar. The real difference between these PCs is that one lasted 6 years and still works perfectly, and the other one has lasted around 3 months and still works perfectly. This proves that the Asus is an extremely reliable machine, and it will probably continue to work perfectly for years to come. Both PCs, in my opinion, are a great buy. One will surely last for years, and the other has a pretty good performance for the price. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more Pixel Weekly.